Hello there, this is Douglas Rumpaw. Now recently I have had a hell of a time with Pulse Audio, and I know that's super surprising, but uh, but yeah, Pulse Audio's got some issues occasionally, and for the past couple of days, anytime I would try and record audio, after a couple of minutes, suddenly it would crackle, it would pop, and my voice would shift up in pitch by a significant degree, and suddenly you would be listening to Oompa Loompa Doug. I was not fond of this. Hello, this is Douglas Rumba, and in this video I want to talk briefly about a very useful little Linux utility called T. So I tried a variety of different things, and I, I finally think that I hit upon the solution to the problem. I, since I've made this change, I have not had the issue crop up again. I'm going to be obviously keeping an eye on it, but so far it seems as though this has fixed the problem. In order to resolve the problem, I turned ultimately to probably one of the greatest Linux resources that there is, aside from man pages themselves. And if you aren't already using this as a way to find information, you should probably start. Uh, and that is the Arch Wiki. So the, as a former Arch user, I am fairly familiar with the Arch Wiki and can say that this really is an amazing resource for most things Linux, even if you aren't actually using Arch. Pulse Audio being Pulse Audio, uh, Ar the Arch Wiki has an entire page dedicated to troubleshooting it, along with every problem imaginable. Uh, and buried down here under audio quality, you can see there is choppy and distorted sound, which surely seems to sum up uh, what I have been experiencing and they suggest two configuration tweaks in order to resolve this. Basically, the problem arises from the sample rate not being set correctly, and so we need to uh, fix that. Now, they have two configuration tweaks here. To be honest with you, I actually only did this one. I did not turn avoid resampling on, so I am, I'm not avoiding resampling. I just did the default sample rate, and that seems to be working. Uh, in any case, let me show you exactly uh, how to make this configuration tweak right here. So we're going to go to Etsy Pulse, and here is the daemon.conf file that it is talking about. Uh, while I'm here, if, you, if you're interested in making this avoid resampling change, they comment that you need to be on Pulse Audio 11 or better. So you can check your Pulse version by just saying Pulse Audio minus minus version. As you can see, right now I'm running 13.99.1, um, and uh, if this is less than 11, I suppose you shouldn't make that change. In any case, let's go down here and find default sample. There we are, default sample rate right here. This is de default to 41 something something something. I forget what it is exactly. And it'll actually default like uh, this, where the line is commented out. So in addition to changing this number to 4800, you will want to go over to this colon and just delete it to actually turn the line on. And then once you've made the configuration change, you need to reboot Pulse Audio for it to take. So you can do a systemctl user restart pulseaudio.service. Now, of course, given that I am currently recording, I'm not actually going to run this because that would cause problems. But once you do that, it should restart Pulse Audio and load the new configuration file. And so far, this seems to have fixed the problem. So if you happen to be having this same problem, it would appear as though this is the fix that you need. I will uh, keep you updated on if it continues to remain fixed or not. But uh, yes, thought that I would record this in case I'm not the only person in the world having this specific problem. Adjusting your default sample rate seems to resolve it. So I hope that you found this video useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.